Hi there, my name's Steve. Uh, I'm owner of Chocolat, and I'm going to show you how to do um, some white chocolate uh, ruffles. They're great for putting on top of uh, desserts, cakes, and wedding cakes and that kind of thing. Uh, what I've got here is a piece of marble, and it's been in the freezer. So this is what I call like the frozen method. I have here my tempered chocolate already done. If you check the, uh, the website out, um, it will show you a link where you can find out how to temper chocolate in that as well. Right, so what we're going to do, my little scraper. This is great, I love this. This is really good fun. I'm going to bring that down like this. And then just cut that like that. And then I've got a tea towel, just a nice clean dry tea towel. Now I've got a couple of minutes just to work with this. We can make some really, you can see, some quite dramatic shapes. And that will stay and hold its shape. And do the same with the other one. Basically, once the model's warmed up a bit more, but you can build a whole lot like being a big wedding cake is quite impressive. Just do some more. The first time you probably try doing this ice method, it kind of you can't get your head around it because you're thinking ice, water, frozen. This is just great fun. You know, you can also be quite like creative. Say you want to make something like a dessert to go on with a nice little ice cream or something. You can make like a little chocolate cone or something. Stand it up into a little piece of ice cream or mousse. Hardly got there a sec. And it's the same principles for white, dark, or milk chocolate. If you find they're not quite set in that, just get another another marble out of your freezer and carry on until you've got as many ruffles or flakes as you want. And it's up to you how big you want your flakes to curl or flakes to squeeze them round. You can see quite quickly you can make quite an impressive display. Well that's a nice simple technique that you know you can try at home. I uh, hope you found it interesting and enjoyable. If you would like to find uh, more stuff about chocolate and workshops and that, look up uh, Chocolate Art and uh, also on uh, YouTube for various other um, recipes and ideas. Hope you've enjoyed it and keep baking and keep it real. Later!